The purpose of this video is to show you the differences between a counterfeit SanDisk 64 gig micro SD card and a genuine one. I recently unknowingly purchased a counterfeit card off eBay for $30 and that is the first point I would like to make. If the price seems too good to be true, it probably is. The packaging was pretty much dead on. I didn't save it so I can't show it to you. But um, it seemed to be almost exactly the same as the package of a genuine card. Um, first of all this is the adapter that came with the card and what I noticed at first was the fact that the um, printing is kind of cheap looking. It's kind of low quality. Uh, you can't really tell but um, from you know being on camera here. But um, another thing I noticed is the back. It kind of has some scuffs and some scratches straight out of the package. Um, it still works. I mean, it's an adapter, but um, this right here is the counterfeit card that I got. Um, the first thing I kind of through with red flags was the fact that the Sandusk isn't really the correct shade of red. This is the genuine one. Um, the gray is really really low quality um, printing and that's one way to tell um, the other way to tell is the fact that the counterfeit one on the right doesn't have this kind of raised rectangle that the genuine one has. And the genuine one has uh, what I, I'm guessing is the serial number and it says made in China. Um, the counterfeit one doesn't have that rectangle. Every single, every single genuine Sandus card that I've ever bought in has had that rectangle. Um, the genuine, or excuse me, the counterfeit one also says made in Taiwan. Um, I contacted Sandus customer support. They said some of them are made in Taiwan, but most of them are made in China. Um, I actually went through, you know, the whole customer service with them. You can upload pictures of the card and pictures of the packaging. And they can confirm with you whether or not it's genuine or counterfeit, but it took me about a week and a half. Um, the sell seller on eBay that I bought this from immediately, as soon as I accused him of selling counterfeit cards, he fortunately immediately refunded me all the money. And he acted like he didn't know what I was talking about and he was going to call the police about the, on the person that sold them the uh, the counterfeit cards um, but like I said if all else fails you can not, you can visit the official Sandisk website and contact their customer support there's also a couple of memory card tests that you can download um, there is the fake flash test that I that I ran on this, um, you know, fake flash test, and then there's actually the H2 test W that you can run. Um, this uh, counterfeit card actually, you know, failed both of them. I don't even know the real size of this card. I think it's probably around two gigs, and you know, it's supposed to be 64 gigs. That really, really pissed me off when it failed at two gigs. Um, so yeah, there you go.